Now, if you get stuck with the task of bringing the kids to the movies over Christmas, do not despair, because there is a new film out called Willow, which is guaranteed to satisfy young and old alike. It comes from the George Lucas stable, that's the stable that brought you the Star Wars movies and also the Anna Jones movies, and it really is full of very special effects. It's a fantasy movie, but it has a very special hero as well. His name is Willow Offgood. Now, Willow is a small person, three foot, four inches in height, and he is played by my next guest, my first guest of the evening, Mr. Warwick Davis. <laughs> You're very welcome, uh, Warwick. Thank How you. How did you get into the movies? Well, um, it was purely by coincidence. Um, my grandmother was listening to the radio, and a commercial came on saying, uh, we need short people for the new Star Wars film, Return of the Jedi. So I went to the studios. They saw immediately how short I was and said, you're perfect for the part. They didn't care if I could act or not. It was just my height. How old were you at the time? I was 11. 11. Mm. 11 years old and in the movies. <laughs> what was it like? Well, um, I was completely in awe, really, at George Lucas, because I'd seen Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back, and this man had become a god to me, and to meet him on the film set, that was an experience in itself. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Um, it was great fun. We filmed for a month at Elstree Studios in London. Um, then we went to America for eight weeks, so I kind of got a holiday out of it as well. Um, it, it was great fun. It could have been a one-off, but it hasn't been. How many movies so far? Well, uh, I've actually... Willow is my fifth movie. Yes. Yeah. In other movies, you were pretty heavily disguised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Return of the Jedi, I had um, a big furry costume. Very hot it was, and the, the eyes in the costume kept steaming up. So I, about five minutes in the costume, I couldn't see where I was going. Um, and then in Labyrinth, um, I had a very strange beak contraption on my head with a lot of remote control um, equipment in the head to make the eyes move, etc. Yeah, so this is the first time, really, that we're going to see you as yourself. That's right, yeah. Um, your, your own face. Yeah, it might be quite frightening, actually, for some people. 